bathroom because I'm getting ready to go to the gym but I'm touching up my hair. Um, just because, you know, I want to, I can. It's already, what time is it? After 10, which is kind of an issue because I have been up since 7.30 and the whole purpose was for me to be able to get to the gym earlier so that I can have time to do schoolwork all day. Go to coffee shop, get some coffee and do schoolwork, you know, the whole shebang. Um, but I just don't know how to like get going in the morning. Like I'm a very like prefer to have slow mornings type of person. I should have brushed my hair before I did this. So I'm not just the let me get going, you know, I have to like a whole process of getting ready. Um, and normally I wouldn't like do my hair or my makeup or anything like that, but I did it yesterday and now it just looks like not as nice. So I just want to like touch it up. But today is my day off technically, so I don't work either of my jobs today. And I did that specifically because I need to do schoolwork and stuff like that since the semester has started. So far it's not like too, too hectic, but I just got into my third week. I'm getting a little bit behind because of how much work was assigned this week with the amount of classes that I got. So I need to get a lot of that done today, which is why I wanted to go to the gym earlier, but knowing me, sorry, you can probably hear all of that. Of course, the day that I filmed, they come and do the landscaping. They're never like consistent on the days that they're here, like at my apartment complex, and it's just always random. So of course, the day that I'm filming, they're like, yeah, let's go there and... Oh, so freaking loud. The reason I wanna to go to the gym earlier was so that I could get my workout done and then I can just come home, go to a coffee shop, whatever and do my schoolwork and not have to... Why are they next to my fucking... Like, they're not even next to my... I don't even know how that would work, how they're next to my fucking bathroom. Cause there's no fucking windows in here. I wanted to go to the gym earlier because I wanted to get all my schoolwork done. Well, not all my schoolwork done, but I wanted to go to the gym earlier so that I wouldn't have to worry about going later while doing schoolwork because I am the type of person where if I'm doing something like that's actually like really important, I will like lose all track of time, even if I need to take a break. The gym normally is like a good break, but like I just couldn't do that. I'd get so distracted with the amount of stuff that I need to do um, and I wouldn't go. And next thing I know, it's like four o'clock and the gym is gonna be packed, you know? So I took my time, which I shouldn't have done, and here I am getting ready for the gym and it's after 10 o'clock and I want to already be at the gym by 10 o'clock. I'm just not one for getting ready right away. I don't know how some people do it. Some people literally will get up and get dressed and I'm like, how do you not sit in your pajamas for over an hour? That's just me. I don't know. My hair is done. Took me less than 10 minutes just to touch it up considering I only wrapped it around the barrel for like five seconds, not even. I've been using this Dove spray deodorant because I ran out and this is just like an extra that I have. Truthfully, I don't know if I'm using it right. I always <laughs> like have to cough really bad. And I need to go get more today at the store because I'm pretty positive it's empty now. But honestly, I'm loving the spray deodorant. I'm just doing a little bit of moisturizer and sunscreen on my face, you know, doing my whole routine. And I am gonna put on just a little bit of makeup because yesterday I did for the first time in like a while because I had to film some like stuff and I was like, oh, I feel confident. So I'm gonna do it again. I literally just do all of my makeup with my finger. Realistically, it's just concealer that I use. I don't use like foundation or anything like that. I honestly didn't even need the concealer. Put it on for some like unusual spots that I have to hide, you know, and like make everything blend a little bit more. But I almost always put it under my eyes just because my eyes, they're not like dark, but like kind of brightens them up a little bit. And then just a light layer of mascara. I 
I don't know if anybody else does this, but sometimes I literally just put the mascara on the tip of my eyelashes to give them like a little bit of lift and to make it look like there's something there. But I don't know, is that just me? That might just be me. Alrighty, so. Ready for the gym. Yeah, so full gym fit. I usually don't wear a matching set um, because I don't, like, I'm like not confident in that. Like if it was like a plain matching set, like if the bottoms were plain and the top was plain, I'd probably be more comfortable. But I am a little like, cause this is like out there for me. Like I don't, this is not who I am. This is not my style. So it's a little, little weird for me. All right, but I have a back day today or an upper body day, not necessarily back. I actually have to check. I think it's mostly chest and shoulders. I'm currently using the Own You app um, by Hannah Oberg. She used to be an old Gymshark athlete. I know she's not anymore, um, but I've been using her program and her program is like really like a lot. It's like high, high volume. That's just something that I'm not used to at all. So like her programs are definitely more of like a power building program rather than anything else. And truthfully, I'm not sure if these are like her like actual, actual workouts, but it seems like she does these type of workouts all the time on her Instagram. But yeah, so today is mostly back, shoulders, and abs is what I'm doing today. Gonna be a fun time. Um, I probably will not film anything at the gym just because it's still new to me and I just like cannot fathom filming in the gym. Maybe one thing I'll, f I don't know, we'll see. We'll 100% see. Let me um, finish getting ready so I can actually leave for the gym so that when I come home, I can do everything I need to do. One hour later. Alrighty guys, I literally just got back from the gym. I am about to make some leftovers for lunch, but I have to wash my hands first, you know? I'm about to make some leftovers and then I'm gonna pack up my stuff so that we can go to Starbucks. Do some school there because I don't wanna sit in my house all day doing schoolwork because I'm just over that, you know? I have full availability to coffee shops. I can go and do schoolwork at them. For my lunch, like I said, doing some leftovers. We got some sweet potatoes and we got some turkey burgers. I made turkey burgers last night. Actually excited because they were really good. Gotta sprinkle a little cheese on it so I get a little bit of fat in there. I mean, the burger has fat in it, but like, you know, just a little bit more. And I'm super excited because the pumpkin cream cold brew, I always leave this open. I don't know why. Oh wait, I needed cheese. So the pumpkin cream cold brew, is at Starbucks now. Now I don't think I'm gonna do the pumpkin cream cold brew. I have to, where did I put my phone? I don't remember where I put it. I'll have to look to see what's in it because maybe I'll just get a black coffee with cold, like pumpkin cold foam on top. Unless that's what the pumpkin cream cold brew is. I don't remember. Clearly it's been a while because it's been like a year. I think I only had it once last year. I also have watermelon because it's like just the end of the season for watermelon and it's so freaking good. So there's two pumps of vanilla syrup in it, which I don't need if I put no vanilla syrup. <gasps> Yay. I'm not gonna order it yet. I'm gonna order it like right before I leave um, so that I can just go in and get it because I, I have all the stuff, you know, on here. So, okay, Starbucks cold brew coffee. Let me just make sure everything's right because one time, I don't even remember if I put it in a vlog, they added sweetness or there was like sweetener in the coffee that they gave me and it was disgusting. So it's just pumpkin cream cold brew on top, not brew, pumpkin cream cold foam on top. Delicioso. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna pack up our stuff. Okay, but before we pack up our stuff, I realized one, I need to get changed because I am in workout clothes, which is fine, but I just don't wanna go like this when I could wear an actual outfit that I have of actual clothes that I never get to wear. So that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta get changed. And also I kinda needed to go over this stuff. So I changed the way that I'm gonna start using my planner. Um, so I think for when I get like a new 2023 planner, I'm gonna get like uh, one that's like set up better for what I'm trying to go for. 
So I, in Monday, what I did instead was put everything that I needed to do that week, like that's due for school, because I'm in four classes this semester. So all online, that's a lot to like handle and keep track of rather than just two classes, you know? Something I do need to do today is one of my discussion posts for one of my classes. I also need to read and do a whole bunch of bio because I haven't started any of it. And I know like the chapters are starting to get really long because I already took this class because I had to repeat it because I didn't get a B, even though I just missed a B and it's so annoying. Okay, Any anyways, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is when I get to the coffee shop is probably do the discussion post or just start on the bio readings and then make sure I do the discussion when I get home. And then I put like when everything, so I have everything here that needs to be done during the week, but then everything that is due when things are due. And then on notes, I have things like prep for next week. Um, like I have to prep for a quiz I have on Monday. And then here listed out, I just have another set of like list of things that are due this week or even like coming up next week that I have to like read and prepare for now before they're due type of thing, um, like posts and stuff like that. So I don't like fall behind. Yeah, I think that's the way I'm gonna start structuring it just because I think it's gonna be so much easier for me. Yes, I'm going to bring my computer and my iPad. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna be using the whole time. I might need to use both. Like I might need to watch a video on my computer and then take notes on my iPad. I gotta get my backpack, which is under this stuff here, which is like mine and Michael's like things. Um, down there, with my gym bag that I don't ever use anymore. And then here's my backpack. I don't even know if there's anything in it, honestly. I don't even think I need this big of a backpack. I might not even use this. I might use like a different bag. I don't know, what's in it? Oh wait, oh my God, look at all these pens I just found in there. Ah, put those in my little pouch. I think there's like emergency stuff in here. Yeah, like emergency money, stuff like that. that I need to do. I also need to go to the store afterwards um, because it's right there and it's just so convenient to go to the store from Starbucks. I need to get a list, a list of things that I need. All right, this is about as fall as I can get with it being almost 90 degrees outside. So here we are, cute fit, looking like I'm going back to school. <laughs> that is right now because I am filming on my phone. I didn't bring my camera. So of course I was there for an hour and it started raining. So now I'm driving home to the grocery store because the Starbucks was full and I couldn't work inside. So, great. Okay, just got back home, um, went to the grocery store. Anyway, let's do a quick grocery haul while I put, while I do this, okay? So I got some tin oil, toothpaste, deodorant. 
I obviously got stuff I did not need, um, like pancake mix. But also, to be fair, I do need that for a recipe I'm gonna for dinner. Coconut aminos, like I said, didn't need those, but I'm gonna use them for the recipe tonight. Bloops, because I haven't had any and I'm lacking in fresh fruits. Got bread, um, kettle cooked chips. The popcorners, they're my new obsession. Pasta, didn't need it, but it was cauliflower pasta, so I thought, why not? Egg whites, not something I necessarily needed, but you know, um, so I don't use as many eggs. And then I also got these, um, Dr. D's sparkling probiotic drink. I got a pineapple and a Concord grape. Again, didn't need them, but I've been having stomach issues lately. So, gonna drink these, especially since they're in a can, I'm gonna have to drink them and they're not gonna go to waste. Eggs. Turkey bacon, didn't need it, but I've been missing it with my breakfasts. Chicken, gonna use this for my recipe tonight. I didn't have any. Um, and then I got just three things of like plain Greek yogurt so I can like either make some other recipes and then I got one vanilla yogurt um, just so I can make some plain recipes with that. Um, and then this I got at Starbucks and it melted and I started eating it, but then it melted. So now I gotta put it in the fridge. <sighs> all right, well, that's it for my grocery haul. Uh, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I'm gonna continue with my schoolwork. So, wish me, wish me luck. All right guys, it is much, much later now and I'm currently prepping my dinner. So, sorry for the horrible lighting, but so for my dinner, I'm going to make some honey garlic chicken. So I just have some tenderloins and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to make the honey garlic chicken. Um, this is just based off of a recipe that I did once and it's not the exact recipe, I'm just making it up. So what you need is you need one teaspoon of flour. This is like all purpose baking mix, but it's gonna work the same. You can use regular flour. Just use one tablespoon of it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use coconut aminos and you're gonna do like a decent amount of it. This is gonna be like the majority of the mix. So you're doing coconut aminos, there we go. And you're gonna do a decent amount of honey. And you're also gonna add some water in here so that there's like more to the mixture. Yep. So like a lot of coconut aminos, a lot of honey. And you're gonna add some water. I'm gonna add some like filtered water. But like literally like not a lot. Like you just wanna have enough so that you can like have enough to create like a consistency. So you gotta like mix it all together. Now from here, something you can do is either you can um, add the seasoning, which I do recommend adding some seasoning to the mixture, or you could just season your chicken. Oh fuck, I dropped my spoon in there. But I kind of recommend doing both just so you can kind of like get a little bit more flavor in there, you know? Um, so I'm gonna add some salt in there. I might have been a little too much salt um, and then some garlic. I don't have onion powder, I totally forgot. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more coconut aminos because this is honey garlic chicken. You're supposed to cook it in like garlic cloves, but I didn't get those. I'm not like a big fan of cooking with garlic cloves. Um, I just don't think I know how to cook with it, um, but I love the smell of it. But I just don't think I know how to properly cook with garlic cloves, so I don't tend to do it. So now the reason I'm mixing it in here is because I'm gonna put the chicken in here to marinate with it. This is better if you have like a baggie or something. I don't have a bag, so we're not doing that. I'm not gonna use all of my chicken. I'm just gonna use like some of it and I'm gonna rinse it first. My dog is like sitting in a spot where he can stare at me because he wants to go out and I'm gonna take him out, but I just wanted to do my chicken first. Realistically, I should have done this a while ago and not just like right now, you know, but it's okay. It's whatever. Shake it up, marinate it for a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna like pour all this mixture into there. And if you want it a little bit thicker, like you can make a way thicker mixture than this. If you want to, you can always just add more flour. I'm gonna let this marinate and when I'm ready to cook it, I will see you then. All right. It's been probably about an hour now. It's literally almost eight o'clock um, and I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I'm very hungry. Um, sorry if you can hear the washer or dryer. It's on, I need to do clothes. Anyway, I'm about to put the chicken on. It's been marinating for probably about an hour, like I said. So we're gonna cook this up and then we're gonna serve it with some rice. See you guys soon.
Hello, I'm sorry. There's all the noises going on. The microwave and then the washing machine. Anyways, I finished the honey garlic chicken. Um, the like saucy part, like the consistency, was way thicker than what I anticipated. Um, I don't remember the exact recipe I did last time, but I know it didn't end up like this. I ended up putting two more tea tablespoons of flour in there because I thought it was way too liquidy. But I didn't realize how thick it got once it started cooking. Next time, I'm just going to do the one tablespoon and hope that it just thickens up while it cooks so that it kind of coats the chicken because now it's like really, really thick. It still tastes really good, um, but it's just like super thick. I don't know. I'll have to make a better recipe and then fill you guys in on it. With that being said, I am going to end this video here. I literally probably, this is going to be such a long video, but yeah, this is basically a typical day in my life as a college student um, and working a full-time job. So that's fun. There's that. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Watch me go about my day-to-day -day life, about things that I usually do during the week and stuff like that. I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I'm gonna fold some laundry that's on my bed because I can't go to bed if it's there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.